music you hear was recorded live by myself and others at the Sacred Music Symposium. This is the music they tried to kill, but they were not able to kill it. If you sing in a choir, or if you direct music at your church, we invite you to join us. I'm not a music major. I'm an ordinary high school student who discovered this incredible conference. The ceremonies at the symposium are real. We're not messing around. Listen carefully, and you'll hear the clink of the insensation. The instructors are top-notch, and they teach you how to make a difference at your parish, not some hypothetical parish. This year, all the courses are geared toward working with volunteer choirs, with a special focus on rehearsal techniques. Every year is different. One year, they focused on children's choirs. Another year, they focused on Catholic hymnody. The Church teaches that every liturgical celebration is an oxio praetilenter sacra, a preeminently sacred action. The music must also be sacred. When you attend the symposium, you will be taught characteristics of authentically sacred music. Last year, for example, the entire conference was centered around an ancient hymn melody. The culmination was a Gloria by Palestrina, where he placed that melody in each voice in the most majestic and brilliant way. The symposium last year closed with a special poem by St. John Henry Newman. If you're considering attending this conference, listen to what the saint wrote in 1848. God has created me to do him some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. He does nothing in vain. He knows what he is about. He may take away my friends. He may throw me among strangers. He may allow me to feel desolate, make my spirit sink, hide my future from me. Still, he knows what he is about. This is the Sacred Music Symposium. Join us.